Here I have my zinc bromine battery with this gravity cell design which I make in my previous video. But now is the time for a little upgrade. So the zinc bromine battery chemistry is really interesting battery technology. And on this type of battery chemistry I also work for a really long time because the zinc bromine battery chemistry is a part of Hyperflow battery project which is developed by Kevrex team. And also the zinc bromine battery chemistry have almost the highest energy density from all chemistries which are developed for the Hyperflow battery project. And the energy density of this chemistry is around 400 watt hours per kilogram and the technology is still developing. And now back to this zinc bromine battery with this gravity cell design. So I really like the zinc bromine chemistry and I also really like this kind of cell construction. And this is because the cell can be made at home really really easily. It can be upgraded because the cell offer a lot of room for improvements. You can also make a lot of experimentations with this kind of cell. Uh, I really like this uh, cell design because uh, I'm able to see what is happening inside of the cell. And in the end, what is also really nice to know is that with this cell construction, instead of using some zinc bromine chemistry, you can also use other battery chemistries. But on another side, uh, this zinc bromine battery with this gravity cell design have also some limitations. Because the efficiency of this kind of battery is not really good. And just for example, when I charge this kind of cell, I need to put in 5.5 volts and then I'm able to charge the cell with 80 milliamps. And if I want to hire the charging current, then I also need to increase the charging voltage. And the power output which I get from this cell is from 25 to 20 milliamps, which is not really good. And for all these reasons, it's good that we improve the battery. And actually, this I will do in this video. And now, let's upgrade this battery. So, over here I have this classic zinc bromine battery with this gravity cell design, which here on the bottom I have the positive current collector, then over here I have the negative electrode, and over here is some created bromine. So the bromine is some active material for this kind of battery. Uh, I also have some bromine uh, over here on the top uh, where was this clear uh, electrolyte solution but uh, the bromine starts to mix with the electrolyte because I shake the cell a little bit. And now the ways to improve the performance of this battery. So first of all which you can do is to increase the ionic conductivity of the electrolyte which means that you will increase the concentration of the electrolyte. The next one which you can do is to improve the positive current collector. So here in my case right now I use some conductive HDP with this uh, copper foil and actually this conductive HDP pushes on the surface of this uh, copper and sometimes I don't get really good contact between the conductive HDP and copper and this can be also the reason that I can also get less output power and for this reason you can use some uh, positive current collector which is actually made from conductive HDP and graph pole. So in this case the conductive HDP is welded on the surface of this uh, graph hole. And this will be some really good current collector because this one have really nice conductivity. And the last thing which you can do right now is to put some conductive network in the area where is created some bromine. So you put some, I don't know, some conductive uh, carbon foam or felt in the area where is created uh, the bromine. 
so this will also uh, boost the performance of this kind of battery and for this reason I will make some new cell so here I have this uh, housing which is made from acrylic uh, pipe on this acrylic pipe I already glue some conductive HDP uh, I glue this conductive HDP with some epoxy glue then I also have some copper current collector some zinc for the negative electrodes some holders for these two electrodes and zinc bromine electrolyte and over here I will put some conductive material uh, which in this case can be some activated carbon felt so this activated carbon felt will increase the performance of the battery really really nice but I know that this activated carbon felt is a little bit harder to get for most of the people for this reason instead of uh, this activated carbon felt I will use something else and this will be this so here I have some activated carbon pellets which is meant for uh, aquarium I think and this one you can get really easily from almost any pet store and what is also really good and also really important for the cell is this the actually conductivity of the material so the conductivity right now is around 4.4 ohms 3.9 ohms and so on and now first what I will do I will fill this acrylic uh, tube with the activated carbon pellets okay this will be enough And now, more I push these activated carbon pellets together, better will be also the conductivity. For this reason, I print myself this. So this will go into this acrylic uh, housing to push uh, these activated carbon pellets. So, really nice. and the negative electrode okay and actually that cell uh, is ready so my current collector my positive current collector my negative electrode, uh, two mole of zinc bromine with one mole of zinc sulfate, and all here I have these uh, activated carbon pellets 
for some filters. And now I will charge this cell. So right now I use the same charging voltage which I use also on this cell, uh, which is 5.5 volts. But when I charge this cell with 5.5 volts, uh, then uh, the charging current was only 80 milliamps. But now this cell is charging also with 5.5 volts and the charging current is 500 milliamps, which means that I can lower the charging voltage. So I lower the charging voltage to 3 volts and still I have 150 milliamps. And now after a little bit more than 30 minutes of charging, I will see what I will get. So first I will measure uh, the voltage of the cell. And I get the voltage of 1.8 volts. So not big surprise over here. And now I will switch the multimeter to 10 amps. And now I will see what current output I will get out from this cell. And actually I get the current of 200 milliamps. So with adding only the activated carbon pellets to the positive side of the cell, the cell was improved for about 10 times. Because this one have the current output of 200 milliamps and this one have the current output of 20 milliamps. So this one is 10 times better by only adding some activated carbon pellets. So really nice. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.